If you don't work on this particular aspect of balance, you will never reach your true potential as a runner and you will increase the likelihood of injury. Kia ora team, Brad here for the run experience. I've been a physiotherapist for over 25 years. I've been coaching runners for almost 20 and most runners just don't understand this very simple concept. So over here we have flexibility and on the other end of the spectrum, strength. Now when we get these in balance, it means that we have full control through our entire range. That's mobility, which means that we can go forward with more momentum, more elastic potential and less resistance. Finding that sweet spot in the middle will allow you to run at your full potential. Now most runners I talk to say, yeah look, I stretch into a few minutes after every run and I do strength work because I run hills. That's not gonna cut it. That's not gonna allow you to find that optimum balance between strength and flexibility. At the moment, my wife and I are trying to help out building a cabin on a bit of land that we've got near a lake. And I got the idea of this video when I was trying to carry some timber. So let me, using the timber and carrying it, show you the difference between being balanced, between flexibility and strength, and being unbalanced. So this is me attempting to move forward when things aren't in balance, where I don't have that balance between flexibility and strength. If you have a look, it means I don't have everything in balance and it's a lot harder. There's far more resistance, far more energy is required to move forward and I really gain no momentum. Now, when I spend time getting that flexibility and that strength in balance, and I find that optimum sweet spot, I can find flow. I can move forward efficiently, effectively, with far less energy required, that's an energy efficiency, and it decreases greatly my risk of injury. So how do you know if you have that optimum balance between strength and flexibility? Well, come on, you know. Take a look at the last six weeks of your training diary. Now, if you don't have a training diary, please start one immediately. You know what? You cannot manage what you are not measuring. Now, I want you to add up your total duration every week for six weeks. Now, if your strength and flexibility time doesn't add up to at least 10% of your total time training, then there's no way you're optimized and there's massive room for improvement in your running performance. If you want to get started on some individual specific exercises that's gonna help you get better as a runner, then I would suggest finding a skilled sports therapist that's into running to do a muscle balance screening, to figure out what's tight, what's loose, what's weak, what's strong, and then you can start on an individualized plan to move you towards that optimum balance. Now, if you wanna get started on your flexibility aspect right now, then check out this fantastic 10 minute follow along yoga routine that we've done earlier. So get into it. So please go out in those miles, work on your flexibility and your strength to get balanced and champion compassion. And I look forward to catching up with you on the next one.